your eye on Austin, and you're watching Gay Eye Opener News. All right, it's just about nine minutes after the hour now. 76 degrees our temperature, uh, partly in the mostly cloudy skies here in the Austin area. And it looks like it's going to be a hot one today oh. with uh, mostly cloudy skies up to about 90 with a 40% chance of uh, some showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon. Well, that 40% isn't bad. Yeah, it's it keeps not too my bad. garden growing. A, a very special guest with us today. This is uh, Aunt Pearl. Hello, Austin. From Tuna, Texas. Yes. You probably recognize her. Oh, yeah, we're in town this week at the Paramount. At the Paramount, Red, White, and Tuna. Yeah, oh, the new play. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Well, you're going to love it. It's I, real funny. I'm hoping so. And you're here to put uh, together a little recipe well, for Well, yes, this one's called Tuna Franks, and it's a prize-winning recipe from New York City. Uh, when when okay. we were there uh, off-Broadway back in the early 80s, they had a big tuna contest for anyone in Manhattan could bring their recipes, and this is the one that won, an Italian lady. What she knows about tuna, I'll never know, but it's good. <laughs> now, you take a can of tuna fish, and you take a half a cup of pickles. All right. And you sweet take pickles. Sweet pickles. Oh, oh, we don't ever eat sour pickles. And a half a cup of celery, All and right. a half a cup of black olives. Oh, chopped black olives. Okay. And onions, you know. Now, these onions, you know, be careful. A lot of people don't like them, but I always put a good All onion right. in them because it's good for men. And then you do a cup of mayo. Which we'll put just a little in this morning. You know, you got a little five o'clock shadow this morning there. Do I? Oh, my. You know, my second husband left me for that. Well, after you stir all of this up, Dan, it makes a great summer dish. It looks beautiful. Now, we've got some already mixed up here. Uh -huh. And you take, after it's all done, well, let's see. Now, you put a, a cup of mayo, and then it has here, um, and a cup of that cheese. Where's the cheese? There it here, is. Here it is, right here. Here's your cheese. You put a cup of that cheese in. Now that cheese is what's the secret. And after you stir it all up, you can see this wonderful little. You take. It looks great. It is. And, and then in a hot dog bun there. You stick it in a hot dog bun. Okay. And then you're going to heat you know, it I in. I try the, not to stick things in hot dog buns unless you know, you're oh, and absolutely never sure. never put it in the microwave, you know. <laughs> never put your buns in the microwave. It just makes them harden up so bad. Hey, you know, I saw Vera Karp over on one of the other stations a little while oh, ago. Oh, nobody ever watches that. She <laughs> fell asleep. They all watch me. Now, see, folks, what you do, and you can get the kids to help you. You fill that tuna frank in yeah. there, and then you're going to wrap it in a little foil, make a little boat out of it. There we go. And you put that in the oven or on the grill just enough for that cheese to melt. And when it's done, it, it'll just, it, oh, it'll slap your mama. It's so good. <laughs> and, that, oh, the cheese, well, as soon as that cheese melts, it's ready to go. Well, that, that is a great looking recipe right It's a good little right summer here. dish, and it's and, uh, in my recipe in my cookbook. Yeah. So y'all got some big plans uh, for the 4th of July there. We do. Uh, we're, we're having a wonderful 4th of July. We've got a class reunion going on, and everybody shaved for the event. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, are, we, are we out of time? Do we have some more time? Well, we are going to have to eat this. Now, well, Bert, go ahead. cannot have that. I think I ought to take How has it. Virgil been lately? Really? You know, that boy, I hate Virgil. That's the meanest kid God ever gave breath. <laughs> and why they had summertime, I'll never know, because Virgil's run loose. They sometimes go to the University of Texas. It's what? He probably blends right in there. Oh, yeah. Well, if you can't be an Aggie, you might as well be a Longhorn. Yeah. Well, well that ticket he has, this? too. Is kind of... Sure, I'll try it's it. It's awfully early, but you should try well, that. Well, I'll try that. Make you though... slap your mama. There it's you so go. good. Mm. Isn't that good? Now see, imagine it a little warm. Oh, it is good. It is. It's a prize-winning recipe. All right. Well, red, white, and tuna at the red, Paramount white and tuna all the week. Paramount. This week. Yeah. Thanks so much, Aunt Pearl. Oh, you're welcome. We'll, Bye. Be, we'll be back in a sec. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, I went to all it. this trouble today. You can have a fight with these flowers. You know, those are just those scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms that are hit and miss and more miss than hit and then temperatures into the middle 90s. Whoa, you know, we're friends here, I just right? Had a tuna I was just like, we're friends here. I can tell you <laughs> anything. I have tuna breath? You smell like a big old onion. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. But it looked really good. Was it as good as it looked? It's delicious. Uh, you know, I love tuna salad. That, that is too. That, is, that Aunt Pearl makes the best tuna salad that I have ever eaten. Well, you makes know, you want to slap your mother. Just, mm. like, just don't slap me. That breath <laughs> no. is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I love I Aunt to, Pearl. I have to go get a mint uh oh now. I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. But, you know, you, you're going to talk to Aunt Pearl when we come back, aren't you? Talking yeah. about uh, well, red, white, We'll, we'll talk to Aunt Pearl a little bit later here in the show. More on uh, that coming up. Uh, CBS is uh, ahead. They don't smell like onions. <laughs> At least as far as we know. <laughs> they might. <laughs> 
fires up out there in the Gulf, and we'll be watching that. Very special guest with us this morning. Uh, you've heard of uh, uh, the town called Tuna, and the latest production is Red, White, and Tuna, all this week at the Paramount Theater. Joining us this morning, again, is Aunt Pearl, who earlier made us uh, some lovely tuna hot dogs. It was real hard to eat tuna fish at 7 in the morning. No, not on this show. But I'll warm them up for later. The kids love those tuna frames. Yeah, my co-anchor said I was a little onion smelling. Yeah, yeah well, you know, red onions will take care of that. They're a little sweeter. Yeah. Well, Aunt Pearl, of course, is one of the, the uh, citizens there in Tuna, yeah. and, and you and Vera Carp have been together for years and years and years. We've been rivals forever. I never did like Vera. She never liked me. It's hard to like someone like Vera. You know, she's got money. She's overbearing. You know, get all the reasons why you don't like someone. You know, <laughs> but she's, she's president of the Smut Snatchers this year. Is she? Oh, and they're after everything. They've got a new dirty word list, and, well, you know, Vice President Gore can't get near it. There's no values in it, he said. I don't see anything wrong with hot hooker, coke, clap, the flower balls, knock her nuts. You know, those words don't bother me in the least. They're trying to get all no, those No, I out. get hot all the time. I live in Texas. Reba McIntyre's hot. Aren't you hot? I'm hot. Oh, God. <laughs> going to be 75 today, you say? Uh, 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 this morning. This, is it 75? Seven, oh, my God. Right Let me now. get out my hanky. Whew. Lord, I can feel it now. Well, now that we're getting into summertime, and, you know, it's political season. What do you, what do you, what do the folks out of tune think about uh, George W.? Well, they like George W. I still have grudges against him when he was a kid. You know, he was awfully wild. He admits that. Mm -hmm. But in being wild and tuned, he'll get you sent to reform school. Really? You know, he threw a whole line of firecrackers at my chickens. <laughs> you know, that's, my second husband was wild. He was from Arkansas. He ate raw meat caused him to be awfully wild. But George W., he was really wild. Did mean things, poured beer down the local mascot, poor badger, <laughs> tore up the penny store, you know, that's been wild. And he hung out with Virgil, didn't he? Oh, you? he's just like Virgil. Of course, you could use a good Virgil in the White House. You know. <laughs> Not many you know, Virgils in the White House. Someone to thump Henry Hyde on the head every now and then. <laughs> of course, Newt Gingrich isn't around to kick around anymore. No, you know, no. What are we going to do? we we'll have to get somebody new, I guess. Well, I hope not. They got that Tom DeLay guy. Well, you know, he's not bad, but he's got a head like a house cat. Does he? Yeah, you know, <laughs> if I was a Republican, I'd say, change that face. I really would. Of course, Hightower, you know, he's not any better. No? You know, looks like little Matt Dillon out there with that mustache. Well, you're a lifelong Democrat, though, aren't you? Oh, I'm a lifelong Democrat. My second husband was a Republican. I divorced him, though, because he became a Unitarian. You know. Do they vote? Do they vote? I thought they did. They're awfully quiet. <laughs> so, uh, but we're at the Paramount this week. And this, we, is, uh, this is how many years now you've been doing tuna? I've been in dresses now for 18 years. And when you go into stores? People just walk up and hand me pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> you can never find the big queen sizes anymore. The, the, I used to go to Wichita, Kansas to get my hose. They got big women up there. They don't eat tuna francs for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's Red, White, and Tuna. It's tonight uh, through Sunday at the Paramount Theater, 469 Show. Thank you so much, Aunt Oh, Pearl. thank you, Dan. I love your weather. Oh, thank you. You've got some tuna fish on your tie. I'm uh, so oh, sorry. Oh, good. No.